Let's hear it for Sassy, the MC. Excuse me while I put this in a hole. The mic, the mic. Anyway, I want to get you all, you know, juiced up here. So we're going to start off with a sing along. You might remember this from grade school. Now, everybody's got to join in. I'm watching you. All right? Here we go. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Very good, all right. Now this is just for the, the guys, only the guys. If you're happy and you know it, touch your tits. All right, this is just for the, the ladies, only the ladies. Wait a minute. If you're happy and you know it, grab his balls. All right. Uh, my name is Rick Martino, as Sassy said, I was Muzzy on the Sopranos, and uh, thank you. I want to tell you a little bit about myself. I come from the typical Italian-American family. You know, the type that's always arguing with their hands. Around my house, it looked like a noisy convention for the deaf. <laughs> and did we eat? We ate so much food, up until the time I was 13, I thought we were the ones responsible for the people starving in Ethiopia. <laughs> But I'll never forget the day I approached my father about being in show business. I said, Dad, I never called him Pop because he thought somebody was shooting at him. I said, Dad, I want to be an entertainer. And he said ever so eloquently, ever so eloquently, what's the matter with you? What are you, stupid or something? Guy was very articulate. He said, why don't you be like all the other men in the family? Be a bookie. I said, I can't be a bookie, Dad. I can't read. <laughs> And my mother, God bless her, she's 85 years old, she still doesn't need glasses. She drinks right out of the bottle. <laughs> my mother, I love her, she's so full of spunk, but she's annoying. She wakes me up 4.30 a.m. every morning. She never says good morning. She says, get that slut out of your bed. <laughs> I said, Ma, she's not a slut. She said, where'd you meet her? I said, in a bar. She said, you meet them all in a bar. I said, yeah, but this one had a restaurant attached. <laughs> I don't know, I must be pawed back, because at night everything looks so good, but in the morning I get the urge to fly away. <laughs> Wish that joke would have flown away. Anyway, I want to tell you, I want to tell you a little bit about my, my agent, Morty Shady. He, he books me at the strangest gigs, man. He gets me the weirdest bookings. You know, he once booked me at a convention for Nymphomaniac Midgets. <laughs> but it wasn't all that bad, because after the show, a few of them came up to shake my hand and gave me a sensation. <laughs> And then, you know, <laughs> you know, they have an entertainment now on the Indian reservations, like, you know, uh, Foxwoods, Turning Stone, Mohegan Sun. Well, he once spoke me on this Jewish Indian reservation. Maybe you heard of the tribe, so sue me. <laughs> anyway, I became a spookers with Big Chief Rosenblatt. He got real tight. Then a week later, he books me on this Italian Indian reservation. Maybe you heard that tribe, and forget about it. <laughs> and I got real tight with Big Chief Stugats. <laughs> anyway, we're talking, you know, shooting the breeze, and all of a sudden a beautiful Indian maiden walks by, the chief says chance. Then another beautiful Indian maiden walks by, the chief says chance. Then a third beautiful Indian maiden walks by, the chief says chance. I said, chief, I thought Indian said how. He said, me know how, me want chance. <laughs> we took a chance with that joke. <laughs> all right, we got a, 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 this is, she doesn't even know this, but we got a, a, a filmmaker, a student filmmaker here from Baruch College. I graduated from Baruch College. Woo! <laughs> It's true. The reform school. No. Uh, I want to do, I want to close the set with these, my song alma mater. Okay, I want you to join in, camera person. You don't know it? Or maybe they changed it. All right. Give me a B. B. Give me an A. A. Give me a U. U. Give me an R. R. Give me a C. C. Give me an H. H. I hope I spelled it right. Baruch. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I didn't go to Baruch College, if you didn't know. But I want to end the set, really, with my real school alma mater. I'm going to end the set with, this is really my school alma mater, so feel free to join in anytime you want. <clears throat> There's a place that I know where the wrongdoers go. Rikers Island, USA. <laughs> with the warden and a guard that's as big as a lard. Rikers Island, USA. Now I complaining. It's three square meals a day, and you're inside when it's raining. There's really nothing on earth like Rikers Island, USA. Musical interlude. Yeah! Rikers Island, Come on. Rikers Island. Complaining. 
It's three square meals a day, and you're inside when it's raining. There's really nothing on earth like life goes on. 